Hey guys, it is Duke, and welcome back to an episode of Afterlife SMP. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. I know I am, and I'm happy to be back recording yet again. As you can see off camera, I actually decided to get around to doing something. So I went ahead and finished off the way down with the same design that I had up here, and I brought it down. And actually, the more times I repeat it, the more I like it. I think this area is actually starting to turn into something, and it's actually all lit up just because of the lava. I think that's really cool. Obviously, <laughs> can't have this coal sticking around too much longer. Uh, I don't, you know, want it here, and and I, I don't know what I plan on doing with the roof on the way down. I don't know what I plan on doing with this yet, but I do really like this coming down. Somebody did tell me on last episode. Uh, that they liked it, and then I had another comment that said uh, it was a little basic. And I agree with both of you. Uh, I do like it as well. The more and more I look at it, the more I like it. And I do agree that it's basic. But I think, you know, how basic it is might actually end up working out. Because if we decide to do something sort of crazy, sort of intricate, um, with the roof on the way down, having the nice sort of, you know, very easygoing, very plain sides might actually work out well plus I don't know what I'm gonna do down here so I might incorporate this I might make it totally different but I definitely want lava uh, at least try to light everything up using lava obviously these torches need to be gone the only issue is currently uh, without them there are some light levels that are pretty low um, so that's why we need to keep these in here for now eventually we'll get rid of them I don't know how we're gonna do that we might take out blocks here put carpet over it uh, and maybe have a, a like glowstone or something underneath I'm not sure but I do like this every time I come through here guys I'm just delighted uh, but as you can see there is some cobblestone that is right I have started roads uh, it didn't take me too long uh, but I just decided you know why not just start laying out where my roads are gonna go and I'm trying to stay with the whole sort of landscape that we have trying to use the elevation uh, that was given to us by Minecraft's generation to you know use in our design not flatten it out uh, not make it sort of kind of boring I, I want to be able to use this I want to have you know roads that come down at sort of diagonals here you know it's not a perfect straight on upward sort of like this or this one is but I think it's more natural you know it sort of flows it flows with the landscape rather than you know the landscape flowing with the road I think that's a, it's a good thing to have uh, maybe not necessarily just in this city but overall in Minecraft building uh, if you're gonna build a road have it flow have it flow well and I think I did manage to incorporate this well yes it is all cobblestone and I'm sure somebody's probably sitting there getting ready to type out a comment like Duke it is all cobblestone why would you do this to us it looks horrible and I understand I didn't want this to stay uh, it's just more of me laying it out. I plan on keeping some of the cobblestone in use here, uh, but not all of it, of course, because just all cobblestone does not look very good, and I could understand if people were a little bit upset there, but overall, happy with the flow, happy with the sort of the size and the movement that the road shows, but what are we doing today? Finally getting to today's episode, uh, we are going to be building the wall. We're going to be building a wall to keep out... No, that's, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to be building a wall to protect what's inside. There you go. That sounds a lot nicer and happier. Um, yeah, I feel like we need a wall. It's a very sort of basic and, you know, standard thing to have in a, in a village, whether it's medieval or, you know, dwarven like I have. It's, you know, it's needed. It's needed. So we're definitely going to build a big old wall. I did go ahead and build one in creative, and I think it fits the theme, fits the area, and it looks it looks all right. It's very big, and it's going to take probably all episode to build, but I hope you guys are going to be satisfied with it. It's big, and I don't actually even have the watchtowers or the gate actually laid out. Like I'm to the point right now where I just sort of have the idea behind it done. Uh, and obviously there's stuff I need to still plant out, but I think we want to start right on over here because this is a pretty flat section of the wall, uh, and there's a good bit of the wall that's actually pretty flat, so I think we're going to use this to our advantage right here, and I think we're going to go ahead and start right in here. So I'm going to get some blocks together, I'm going to pull up a screenshot of this wall that I've built in creative, uh, and then I think we're going to start working on that. So, pretty hyped for this, and I'll see you guys when we're ready. 
All right, guys, I've got my screenshot, I've got my blocks, and I think we are ready to go. I'm realizing I'm not going to pick that up, but I think that's fine. Uh, we shouldn't really need it too badly right now because we have a lot of spruce, and we can always get more if need be. So we start off with a pillar there, uh, and then we have a gap of, let's see, three, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's the eighth. All right. That is going to work out perfectly for us. And then in line with this, we have we have smoothed andesite. That's what it needs to be, which means we're going to have to move those out of the way for now. So it's there. Um, and then it looks to be back here in the back, we have stone walls that sort of cover up this. Uh, obviously, it doesn't take up the entire section. We're going to cover up a lot of the stone, um, but... A lot of this build uh, involves stone, which is good because I feel like you know dwarven's dwarven kingdoms need the stone uh, because you know it should be all built mainly out of stone. I believe I, I don't know. I mean, maybe you guys believe different things. And my phone was underneath my keyboard apparently. Snapchat from Nate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys know who Nate is, but I do. So <laughs> there's that. All right. So then we have on the front of these. We go stone brick stairs, boom, 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 boom. It's, I really like how this looks. So I think you guys are as well. Uh, obviously, right now it's it's very basic, uh, but like I said, we are going to be including quite a bit of stuff here. So I think in the end, it's definitely a a very nice build and. The fact that we have so much stone is going to be nice because there's a lot of it. And by the, the height of this thing, guys, I mean, it's actually pretty impressive how tall it is. Um, it it might be on par with how tall our one front entrance is. Like, it, it's pretty big. So I'll, I'll just let you guys, um, you know, take that into consideration, what to expect out of this wall here. Uh, very, very nice and grand. Um, and I think it's going to look beautiful in our town. That's not right. That's where it needs to go. Right there as well. Uh, and then we have that, 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 that. Underneath here we have some stone st or cobblestone stairs. And I'm going to need to sleep here because it's getting dark. Um, so yeah, that's it's a very basic view. Um, and it's actually divided up into three sections. And what I mean by three sections is I don't mean... You know, width-wise. It's not like we have a pattern of three different sections. I mean height-wise. We're going to probably finish off the first off on camera, and then I'll do the other ones off camera, just because it's huge. I'm going to be pulling up a lot, and I don't know if you guys are really excited to watch, you know, me build the same thing sort of over and over again. It does vary a little bit um, per level. But overall, it's a very similar looking build as we start going up. Um, but that does actually help the build out in the end. The fact that it is so, you know, pattern oriented, it's 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 a lot of the same thing. But it actually works together as the theme, you know. It sort of gets the whole purpose down. Uh, and I do like that. Can I pick that up? Yes, I can. Okay, so there we go there. And then we come in here with some stone, cobblestone walls. Not stone walls. I wish that existed, but it doesn't. Um, shoot, how's this go? I think it's, think it's this next. Believe I'm doing this right. My, my screenshot's a little bit from a, a higher angle, so it's looking down, and I can't really tell if that's right or not, but I believe so. And then we got some buttons on the front of these. And it feels like that side's a little longer. Did I do that right? No, those are the same size. For some reason, that side felt a little bit larger. It was... It was rather strange. Um, and then, actually, we did not build this high enough. We need to keep going just a little bit more uh, so we can get the full-on effect that we were going for. So one right there, one right there, one right there. Um, some more polished andesite. And then on the front of these, we need more stone brick stairs. Hopefully, this is going to turn out well. If not, oh well. <laughs> We can always we can always make edits to it and come back later. Um, so it looks like that. I'm not entirely sure what's on that thing, but I know I know it's sort. Of, I think I think this middle part exists. I think so. Could be wrong. <laughs> I don't I don't really know. Uh, we're just gonna sort of roll with it and make edits to it if if we have to. Hopefully not. 
Uh, there we go, just like that. And then I do know right here, that's all slabbed off. So I'm going to go look at this in the creative world because I'm not entirely sure what goes right up there. And that's sort of an important part. So I will be right back with you guys. All right, guys. So the block that we needed was some more stairs. That is right. It's kind of a weird uh, sort of thing to think about that there would be stairs in there. But I think in the end, it actually does look really good. Uh, and other blocks wouldn't fit as well as these do right here. So we're looking at it from a little bit of an angle because it's so tall, you know. Uh, but this is only, what, like six blocks right there up? That's no, five. Okay. Um, it's going to get taller. So then we got that layer, and then on top of that, we can jump on up here and make the jump, hopefully. And then on top of this, it's boom, boom, boom. We sort of alternate uh, what it was on the path below, um, and then it's stair, 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 stair. Stair, stair. And then on top of here, we come on in with some spruce slabs. And I think, think that'll be about what I show you um, of building this for the fact that we probably want to see a little bit more than just, just this. So if I can jump up here, which apparently I cannot, we go along the top of this. And there's a little bit of a walking space up here, which actually works out pretty well uh, in the end because... You can't get up onto the second floor to walk. This is the top of the first, so I guess it is considered the second floor. But you can't get on top of the second floor to walk out on. So this is your only lookout, uh, and then there's the lookout all the way up. But that is very high up. So if we look at this, that is the bottommost floor, and it's going to come back in a single block and then advance upwards. So I have to do that off camera because I know for a fact I could not get away with doing that on camera because it would probably be pretty darn bad to watch. But I'm just going to bring up one thing right here, guys. Episode 64, I'm going to be doing a Q&A caving episode because I'm pretty low on diamonds uh, and I feel like I need to connect with you guys a little bit more, so we're going to do that. Um, so be sure to leave your comments down below what you expect uh, me to answer. So lots of questions, hopefully. Uh, and I'll leave a comment in case you guys forget to do so. Also, I'll tweet out about it, which, by the way, I have a Twitter and I never discussed this. Uh, if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, please do because it allows me to sort of, you know, one on one speak with anyone who has questions, um, you know, and just lets you guys get a little bit more involved with the channel as a whole. So I'm going to go ahead and build this and I'll be back with you guys. All right. Now, I don't know what you guys think, but if I saw a wall like this that tall, I wouldn't want to mess with a place like that. This thing means business, and I think it looks really great, and I'm happy. I am very, very happy with how this turned out. I think it looks tremendous. Um, in the addition of, you know, the, the other floors right there, the second and third, really bring it all together, and imagine, uh, like, archers up there. Dude, you, you're coming up. You're trying to raid this place. You're, you're going to get picked off. I mean, it is, it is not easy going. Plus... Uh, if you come up here, you can see there is a little door here that allows you to walk along here. Obviously, this probably isn't a place where you want to shield. Um, I this isn't a place where you want to hide from arrow fire coming from that direction. But, you know, as, as a lookout, you know, this is, this is fine. And then you come up here. Obviously, there's not a way up yet, so I just have some stone. Um, but you're coming up here. And this is where the actual top is going to be. Um... This is this is a little bit more, uh, you know, defensive, and I think it's it's a nice view. You can see a long distance from here. Very very good for what I'm going for. Um, is that lava over there? Yeah, it is. That's weird. I used to venture past there to go get lava uh, before I dug into a cave over here that found some um, because I had to go way far away to get some lava because lava buckets are actually kind of difficult to come by if you don't have a pool. Uh, and I didn't, so I had to go and find some like in mountains and stuff for the longest time. Uh, but then I, the other day I decided to dig around down in the caves and I found a lava source. That's where I've been getting all my lava. I think I have a few buckets in here, yeah. Uh, just for easy access, but we still have a lot to do uh, in this wall, guys. It's nowhere near done. Um, as you can see, it's only the front 
Like, I still got to do all this back part. And, yeah, it might be a little bit easier because the hill's here and I can sort of work with that. Um, but I do have to measure out uh, how I want to do this because the thing is in the sing or not the single player world but the creative world uh, that I built this in I only built the front wall just like I did here so I get to figure out how it matches up how wide I want the top to be I don't know if I want to make it five wide at the top actually I think five wide would work okay here's the here's the thing I could either make it five or three and what I mean by three is this would be the center um, which a three wide like this at the top could sort of work, but wouldn't five? Oh no, actually five is kind of big. I don't know if I like that. Okay, but then we got to take in consideration that people are going to be walking around down here. So if it's three wide like that, we're going to have a door on, on this block, a door like that. So we'd only have the one wide because you, you see we're gonna have we're gonna have slabs through this spot which means we're going to have di or not diorite but andesite right there on that block as well um, which means it's gonna be a little cramped in here if we build it like that I don't know would that work because you know it's it, this is the bottom part it's not like it's supposed to be beautiful or anything um, but if we do move it out take this out we move it out here turns into kind of a you know it's it's kind of big um which will put this back to uh where would it be would it be about there i think this is right right here yeah so it'd be that big which makes a little bit more sense the only issue is it's going to be a huge old wall do we want do we want the wall to go to here? What do I want the wall to go to here? Cuz that's that's how it's going to look. That's going to be the support beam. It's either going to be uh, on that block or on that block. So it looks like a mess right now, doesn't it? <laughs> but we're going to be cleaning it all up hopefully soon. I just don't know if I want 5 at the top. That that's a big old surface. Um because you think about it, you come up here, that's that's big. That's maybe too big. Plus because, oh, nice. Uh, plus because the watchtowers have to stand out a little bit. So they've got to be at least five wide um, just, with the, just with the walking area here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with the three. Um, it's a little it's a little thinner up here and yeah, it'll be cramped down there But like I said, you know, this is the interior of a wall. It's not like oh This is this is the with a king spends all of his time or anything This is just the archers area and if it's it's long and thin Hehehe, <laughs> uh, but if it's long and thin I think that's actually uh, Maybe what we want to strive for so I think that's what we're gonna do right here This is going to be the width up here uh, and I think that'll actually work out in our favor. Because doesn't this feel like an accurate size of the top of a wall? I think so. Let me let me know what you guys think. Because what I'm going to do in today's episode is probably just get this one spot done. I doubt I'll get any more done. So because of that, um, I think I actually do have it in me to make changes like that. If you guys so desire if not obviously I'll just leave it how it is uh, and this will roll with it but I'm gonna finish up the other side uh, that way we can sort of get the whole wall segment done but man I do like this this is cool this feels like this feels like something you this this is cool this is cool man that's all I'm gonna say I think I think using any more words and I might accidentally say something that's not child appropriate um, not, not, you're not child appropriate, but family friendly. And I guess fr family friendly content is what I do strive for. So uh, I would be would be cheating a little bit there if I said something else. So let's just leave it at that. <laughs> and I'm going to go finish this up. I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Oh, baby, there we go. We're done with this segment of the wall. Oh, it's beautiful. And you're probably wondering, Duke... It's five wide. You promised it was only going to be three. Yeah, I uh, I miscalculated. 
I, I built it the same width that I planned on, but I did, oh, my voice, didn't take into consideration that this was not the middle block. Actually, this is the middle block. This is right on over top of the post right there, and I believe, yeah, it also takes a step back one that I did not take into consideration, and I should have, but I didn't. But you know what, guys? I think it looks good. I I'm happy because I think I originally did want the five wide. It was just the only issue with the fact that the watchtower is going to have to be a little, bit, a little bit bigger. But I think we can work around that. I'm just going to take all this stuff down for now. We won't have access to the roof at the moment. Um, but because of the natural world, we do have access to the second floor. So this works out really well. And as you can see on in here, this sort of cool little area, I think it's going to be really awesome. You know, once, once we start closing this off... Uh, we're going to have to light it up, but I think we can use it as something. I think we're going to find use for it. But as you can see, this looks exactly like the other side does. Uh, obviously, the little bottom floor here is impossible to see because it would be covered. Uh, so I actually just didn't even bother on doing it because why would I? Because um, I don't think we're going to get rid of this hill right here. I think we're going to work with the hill uh, so there's no need to build that. And look at this, from the side it's going to look pretty darn cool guys. I think we're going to have a nice build. Obviously that's going to get covered up eventually because we're going to have more of it. But now you can sort of see the picture. You can sort of see how it's going to roll. And look, does it not look like an actual wall? You know, it's just the front, it looked a little strange. Now it looks supported. Uh, and you know, just for added effect, why don't we go up there and play some stone in? Because I feel like this will this sort of give it the more complete feel that you guys uh, are sort of missing out on at the very moment. We just need to we need to do a little bit of stuff like this to add in uh, just that that final little bit of closure on this build. And obviously, the build's not done, but we need a little bit of the section closure. So if you understand what I mean, there we go. Now it all makes sense. Now you can see that looks like an actual segment of the wall. It looks like, you know, it's just the wall, but you ripped out a segment, and that's the piece that we have. And that looks good. That looks that looks awesome. This is probably the favorite, my favorite wall I've ever built in Minecraft. It looks, I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks fantastic. And the farther around that it reaches, the time we get the gate and the watchtowers, oh, it's going to be beautiful. And one more thing. I was building and I realized I managed to build almost like this little corridor down here. Totally did not mean for that to happen, but I think we can work with it. I think we can turn this into something. Uh, and I'm, I'm interested. I'm very interested. Either way, very happy with how this turned out today. And I think I'm going to wrap up the episode right there, guys, uh, because we definitely got a lot of building done. Yeah, you guys might realize that it didn't get all the way expanded over here, but think about this. This that's a lot of a lot of structure. That's easy. Uh, is easily probably more work than I put into say the cafe or the radio station, um, and it was all in one episode. So this is very fantastic. Really like how it turned out, and that's when we'll wrap up the episode, guys. So if you did enjoy the, today's episode, please be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see next, and if you're new to the channel or the series, be sure to subscribe. This has been Duke. I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.